What's going on everybody? Mehdi and Musavi, and I want to welcome you all to another episode of Your Next Move. Very excited for this episode because we're coming to you today from the rooftop of the Hope and Flower community right here in my backyard and stomping grounds of beautiful downtown LA. Today we're bringing you two unique one-of-a-kind penthouses in the penthouse collection that Hope and Flower offer. And to say that these things are spectacular is probably saying the least. So what both of these penthouses do have in common is they're spectacular. And that's an understatement. Depending on what your taste is and what you're looking for in a unit, you be the judge. But what I will tell you is what they do both have in common is they're both done to the utmost luxury and standard that one would expect from a high-rise luxury building like Hope and Flower. 20-foot soaring ceilings, porcelain, granite, tile, marble, the whole nine yards. We have European cabinetry, the highest end appliances, outdoor entertainment terraces that one would just dream of. And of course, the best part, we have this. Join us today as your next move takes you inside the Hope and Flower penthouse collection. And I hope you guys enjoy the show. Come on inside, y'all. So welcome to penthouse number 4004 here at the Hope Tower at Hope and Flower. Some quick stats, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, 2,830 square feet, and just take a look around and feel the luxury here. The first thing that you notice is it's a very expansive open floor plan, but they have good separation between the rooms with the quartz slab they have right above the fireplace. Second thing, floor to ceiling windows and light throughout. I mean, this is, I would say the most uh, light filled of all the penthouses that I've viewed over here, but you be the judge of that. As we walk in over here to the kitchen, a couple things to note. First off, flooring throughout is tile flooring through the living room, dining room, great room area. We have quartz countertops. This is the uh, honey finish, they call it, over here at Hope and Flower. So again, that adds a little bit to the brightness of the unit. We have Sub-Zero fridge built into the wall, Sub-Zero wine fridge underneath the quartz uh, countertop. And we have Wolf Appliances, because of course, what luxury unit would be complete without it? As we exit the oversized uh, sliding glass doors, we have a spa that comes with the unit. Spa fits about 30 people, 40 people, depending. I'm not gonna judge you. Uh, and as you walk over this way, you have sweeping south facing views all the way out to the ocean on a clear day. And you also have west facing views of the Hollywood sign, Griffith Park and everything that beautiful LA has to offer. So as we step back inside to the great room from the oversized terrace, you have a dining room area over here on your right hand side. Again, the oversized quartz countertop, European cabinetry, the honey finishes. Just wanna show you real quickly the amount of storage that we have in this unit. Uh, we have a pantry area over here to the side and for all the ladies again, an oversized laundry room. And this is something you don't really see every day. The laundry room has its own full on closet which is bigger than uh, I guess most studio apartments in New York. So it's a win to me. Stepping back into the great room again, guys, the first thing that you notice when you enter this room, the ceiling height. That's 20 foot ceiling height throughout the entire apartment until you get to the bedrooms and even the bedrooms have 18 foot uh, ceiling heights. You have a gas fireplace, uh, again, with this huge quartz slab that separates the great room from the living area. <laughs> First thing that one notices besides the openness and the 20 foot ceilings, light, light, and did I say it? Light. Abundant natural light throughout, sweeping south facing and east facing views all the way from the San Gabriel Valley, all the way out to the ocean on a clear day. Again, perfect room to just lay down, read a book, take a nap, not have to hear anyone or uh, just simply watch TV. So now let's go into the, uh, the bedroom area and show you the three bedrooms and everything else this has to offer. So bedroom number one, first thing that you notice besides light, 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 is the 18 foot ceiling heights. Has its own uh, significantly good sized closet, I would say, just depends on how many clothes you have. I mean, for some of us, that is not. For some of us, that is a good one. It has its own bathroom over here. You have the quartz countertops, quartz uh, finishes on the backsplash, uh, the vanity, chrome faucets. All right, as we walk down the hall, we have bedroom number two. This one's not an ensuite bedroom, so pretty much mirrors the bedroom number one without having the bathroom. So now we're walking into the master bedroom. So first thing, this is a little bit different than what you see right adjacent to the uh, left side right when you enter is this large master closet. If this is not enough, 
room for you, your girl, your pet, whatever it may be, your lost cause. So as we enter the master bedroom, again, abundant natural light. I know I keep saying that, but it's just the theme of this unit. Uh, 18 foot ceilings. You have a balcony that is solely for use for this master bedroom. Sweeping north and east facing views of the downtown skyline, but you also have south facing views. Again, it's a little bit hazy today, but you can see all the way out to the ocean on a beautiful clear day. I would rent just this balcony from whoever rents this unit. So if you want my phone number, wait till the end and never mind. So as we walk through the master bedroom and enter the master bathroom, you'll notice that the master bathroom is different than the other bathrooms in this unit in the sense that first off, it has dual vanities and it's a large marble, not quartz slab over here on the countertop. Again, chrome faucets, it has integrated lighting and the European cabinetry also has its own freestanding tub, which is perfect for Valentine's Day when you want to fill it up with roses for your ladies. You know what I'm talking about. And again, an open format uh, shower, and we all know what's in here, so I'm not gonna show you that. But uh, let's head back to the great room, guys. All right, guys, so hope you enjoy the tour of Penthouse 4004 over here at the Hope Tower. And we're gonna head over to the Flower Tower and show you one more unit, but uh, just a quick recap. This unit was three bedrooms, three bathrooms, just over 2,800 square feet. And for those of you that want to know, cost about 26K per month. So let's head over to the Flower Tower and we'll show you one more of the exclusive penthouses at the Hope and Flower Penthouse Collection. <laughs> All right, welcome to penthouse number 3201 in the flower tower here at the Hope and Flower Penthouse Collection, y'all. First things first, let's go through the stats. Three bedrooms, three bathrooms, 2,676 square feet, and this one will rent for about 25K per month. And you wanna know the biggest difference between this and penthouse 4004? Take a look at these north-facing, sweeping skyline views of the entire downtown LA skyline. I mean, you, this is literally city living at its best. You are surrounded by a lot of the residential high-rise towers of downtown LA, and you have a view of pretty much every building that downtown has to offer. I mean, take a look at this, guys. And another thing to note, this is only one out of the three balconies that this amazing unit offers. So let's take a step back inside into the kitchen and living room area. Again, it's very hard to leave that view, but I gotta show you the rest of the unit. So first thing to note, the difference between Penthouse 4004 is the color scheme. That was honey, this one is the espresso color scheme. So just a matter of preference, I'm interested to know which one you guys like. We have the large oversized quartz countertop on the island, again, European uh, cabinetry. We have the five burner Wolf uh, oven and range, built-in appliances, Sub-Zero fridge over here. You have another Sub-Zero wine fridge. Over here to the side, we're gonna give you a quick peek. Not as big of a laundry room as the last one, but it's not like I do laundry anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, take a look inside. If that's not a big enough laundry room for you, you love laundry too much, that's all I gotta say. entering the great room again separated with this large quartz slab it's a beautiful separator of the room although it's an open floor plan gives good separation first thing you'll notice again 20 foot ceilings abundant natural light maybe not as much natural light as the previous unit that we took a look at but in my opinion enough and it's worth sacrificing a little bit of light for the sweeping north facing downtown LA sky view I mean who wouldn't like to hang out in this room now, before I show you the bedroom area, let's head out to balcony number two. So again, comes with a, I'll figure this out one day, guys. Uh, comes with a Weber grill and a oversized spa. Maybe not enough to fit 40 people like the, uh, the last unit, but I think you could fit 20 uh, people in here comfortably. We'll leave it at that. Take a look right behind you when you're sitting in the spa at nighttime, having a glass of wine, a bottle of whiskey, whatever it may be. This, this just has to be killer. I will be back tonight because they gave me a key to this place, but that's a whole nother story. All right, so as we come back into the great room from your entertainment terrace, that's definitely an entertainment terrace. That would throw some parties out there. So again, great room for obvious reasons. I mean, look at this room, it's great. So one thing that's different is the master bedroom is adjacent to the uh, living room area on this one. And we're gonna look at that last, but uh, just wanted you guys to note that. 20 foot ceilings there, 18 foot ceiling. We drop down to about 14 here. You have a guest bathroom. Uh, again, quartz countertop, the European wood cabinetry, 
and we're gonna walk into, I'll call it bedroom number one, just for, uh, for the purpose of this show. Identical to the uh, guest bathroom in regards to the uh, finishes. You have the closets over here. I'll give you a sneak peek inside as to what these look like. They are connected, but it's, uh, you have double entrances to the closet. This one is west facing. It does have its own private balcony as well. I'll give you guys a little bit of a view and you're facing west, so that's actually the uh, Circa community, and you do also have some south facing views, so you would, pretty, you would get some pretty amazing uh, sunsets from here. So at the end of the hallway, this is uh, bedroom number three, so people that you want them to walk a little bit more, you don't like, this is where you stuff them. I mean, again, I'll take it. So another ensuite bedroom, uh, we have the uh, quartz backsplashes, you have the quartz countertops over here, uh, European wood cabinetry, again, pretty identical to the uh, previous two bathrooms, the uh, chrome faucets. Pretty good size closet, good size room, and again, this one also links to the private balcony, which bedroom number one is connected to. So again, west facing views of the Circa community, south facing views all the way out to the ocean. So sunsets here, guys, killer. Okay, so walking back down the hallway into the great room, and again, I know I keep on saying this, but I have to emphasize these north facing views from pretty much everywhere in this entire unit. I mean, absolutely fantastic. So I wanna show you guys the master bedroom, or I should say the master suite, primary bedroom, whatever you wanna call it. So first thing that you notice in here, again, 18 foot ceilings, guys, motorized shades, and it's not just in this room, it's throughout the entire unit. All the bedrooms have it as well. This unit itself has, uh, or I should say this bedroom itself, has access to the outdoor spa and terrace, the entertainer's paradise. So could you imagine just uh, having your bed over here, having a little party going on outside over here, the uh, city lights going on. They have a, I guess you can use it as a vanity area. Again, that espresso color tone. Uh, you have the quartz countertop over here as well. To my right hand side, we have the master closet. Pretty good size closet. Again, guys, if, you know, unless you're in the fashion world and this closet is not big enough for you, mm. So walking in over to the master bathroom. Again, the difference with the countertops here is we have marble countertops. You have the European espresso color finished cabinetry. And take a look at this master shower. I mean, look at this, guys. So again, yeah, maybe you don't have the city views, but I feel like this is a little bit more of a peaceful view. And again, you have the freestanding tub that just opens up to the open floor plan shower. And again, motorized shades. I know you guys can't see it, we just opened it up. If you don't want to see the world and you want it to be just black out in here, you can absolutely do that. No, I'm just kidding. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this inside look and our showcase of the Hope and Flower penthouse collection. Again, a special thank you to the Ani Group and Hope and Flower for allowing us to tour these one of a kind penthouses. Now, what I wanna know is one, which color scheme did you guys like better, honey or espresso? And more importantly, number two, which penthouse did you guys like better, 4004 or 3201? You ask me, 3201 takes it with the north facing sweeping downtown LA skyline views, but 4004 with the light filled uh, open floor plan, you know, I wish these two units could have a baby and that would be the perfect unit for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Your Next Move. Stay tuned as next time as we take you inside LA's greatest homes. Take care guys. Bye.